Um, there's a lot that goes into coaching, but also being an athlete at the same time. I, I feel as if uh, being an athlete and also coaching, uh, as an athlete, I'm holding myself to a high standard to accomplish my goals. Um, and then that carries over into coaching. Setting examples, um, not just in um, your, your, your technical, but your, your effort and practice every day, your consistency, your mindset, small details that go into your training, your punctuality, um, the energy you bring to the team, those type of things. Because uh, there's, you know, not every day you feel great, but you gotta remember when there's, you know, 35 guys that if I'm telling A, B, and C to do, I need to practice A, B, and C. Um, so there's, there's definitely part of that that goes on into it. Um, but also being uh, competitive and, and, and realizing if I'm doing something, I wanna do it to the best of my ability. Yeah, it's, it's been really good. And I think, I think I have a good community that allows me to do something like that. Um, I don't think it'd be possible everywhere, you know, so um, with the community we got and the coaches and the, the my teammates, the athletes on UPenn, you know, we're all on the same page. Um, I want to get them to where they want to be and at the same time, you know, they're just as much as I'm their training partners or training partner, they're my training partner too. So. Um, when I'm getting them ready, I'm getting them ready, and when I'm getting ready for some, they're getting me ready. So it's a good dynamic, and like I said, I just think it's not it's not possible to do every, everywhere. So I'm glad I can do it at a place that allows it. This is my third season with the Big Red, um, and and my my coworkers have been. Uh, more than accommodating, especially Coach Gray with, you know, letting me come to tournaments, training camps, uh, different practice times, and I'm lucky enough to have Frank Pirelli, our RTC coach, who's done a great job with, with coaching the RTC and realizing, you know, my schedule also and working with that, being a coach, and vice versa. So, um, I think with the right leadership, um, the right people in charge, you know, it's definitely possible to do, and, and I feel like I've been wrestling some of the best I have. You know, I'm wrestling really good opponents domestically and internationally. Um, but, I, you know, if you look at the way I'm technically executing things and stuff like that and, and maintaining the training at a high level, I feel different there. It's one thing because, because the goals are so centralized and personal, uh, you can get really bogged down in yourself. And so I'm a big team guy. Uh, this like achieving my goals would be hard achieving my goals and wanting to achieve my goals would be hard if it was just me doing it and so when you, you have like a team and a culture like the one we have it just makes it that much sweeter and then like uh, the other thing is like you can leave I can leave a tournament um, a tournament a match uh, you know disappointed if I didn't get what I wanted out of it, but also, there's also some excitement if seeing a teammate do something that he wanted to do. And so, um, yeah, I'm just a big team guy. I, I, I'm always about the team. Um, the team comes first for me. And uh, when that's the case, I think, when I, like, thinking like that, it's always been beneficial for me. So, it's, it's awesome having a good team. Uh, I've been where these guys have been, you know, there's, you know, we have a fairly good team when there's a handful of All-Americans and national champions and um, there are things that I've accomplished and there's, you know, I, I realize where they're at, you know, I'm still pursuing a, a position on the top of the world stage, you know, and anyone who's pursuing something great, it has the same challenges. You know, so when I can say, hey, you know, I realize where you're at, you've lost two straight matches, I've been there. Right? I realize where you're at, you know. You won the Nationals last year, you won this last year. Guys are adjusting to match you. I've been there, I realize it. You know, I still realize it when I go kind of compete. Um, so a lot of the same challenges guys um, encounter, I feel as if I also have encountered. Um, geez, now, probably 10 years ago in college. But um, there, there are things I've, I can relate to and if they're willing to listen to me, you know, it feels as if I can um, help them.